The role of analytical testing for food fraud risk mitigation. How much is enough? Food fraud and economically motivated adulteration is a serious issue and a high concern for the food industry. As food chains become more complex and global in their range, the opportunities for food fraud has multiplied and become more diverse in their nature. Food fraud can occur at all stages in the food and feed chain. A number of high-profile food fraud events in recent years, such as the melamine in infant formula scandal in China and the horse meat incident in Europe, have contributed to an increased focus by manufacturers and regulatory authorities on fraud prevention. A multitude of analytical technologies exist to detect fraud, such as chromatography, spectroscopy and DNA analysis. However, in many cases, testing is expensive and some forms of fraud, such as some labelling changes, may not be detectable by analytical techniques. When analytical techniques are employed, the question immediately arises as to the extent and frequency of testing required. The decision to use analytical testing for food fraud risk mitigation is not straightforward. The decision is influenced by many factors, including the nature of the fraud, the likelihood of it occurring, the cost to the company arising from the fraud, the economic cost of testing, and the probability of detection and availability of appropriate test techniques. This research, carried out within the scope of the European Commission project Food Integrity, provides a structured guidance to the food industry and regulatory authorities as to when it is appropriate to use analytical testing to mitigate food fraud risk, the economic considerations in making that decision, as well as statistical sampling issues that will arise to counteract fraudulent activity.